On our first lecture, we discussed about the formatting, the border, and the merge and center function. Let's say you are already done creating your own class record. So today, we were going to input or insert the formulas for this class record. Wherein, these are the examples data that we have. So we were going to compute these data. So first is we need to compute the total score of the quizzes. So for example, how do we compute for the total score? So there is a long method for that. So just simply press the equal sign, then click the 15 plus, okay, plus. Just simply click all the values, then click the plus sign, then enter. So that's it. We already computed the total number of the written works. So that is the long method in computing the sum or the total score for the quizzes. There is also a function for that. We are just going to visit the formula button, then click the auto sum, then just click the sum functionality and that's it just press enter okay so that is very easy for you you can also do that on the next row so by just simply clicking the sum formula and that's it you can get all the sum or the total score per student for us to copy the formulas on the next students, we're just going to click this cell. Okay, so then point your mouse at the lower right portion of the cell wherein the mouse cursor will be changed into plus sign. Just simply click that and then drag. Okay, so that will automatically copy all the formulas from that student okay so that's it we already got the formulas for the total score of the written test we are now going to get the equivalent of this score so to do that you just need to click equal so the formula for this 100% equivalent is the score of the student divide by the total score of the quizzes then multiplied by 100 so to do that we just need to input the equal sign together with the parentheses so click the score of the student divide by the total score of the quiz so close the parentheses so why do we need to enclose this formula so this formula should be computed first before it will compute for the 100 percent equivalent okay and that's it. That is the 100% equivalent for the score of 60. But we all know that in academics, the 50% score of the students will fall under 75 score or 75 grade. That's why we are going to multiply this by 50, then add 50. Then that's it. The grade of the students is 74. Okay, so we are going to copy the formula into this one. Okay, since as we drop down this anchor, okay, so there is a certain big problem because the total score now will fall under the P7 cell, but the P7 doesn't have any value. So we need to fix it from P6. So to do that, we just need to delete this first we go to the first formula and this formula so as we have this is p6 just simply input a dollar sign this will help our formula to be fixed on the p6 cell then just simply enter so now that we are already done in editing our p6 we can now drag or copy the formulas in every students so just drag your anchor and there you go 
Okay, so that is the 100% equivalent in the academics. So now we were going to get the 40% of the 100% equivalent of the quizzes. So to do that, we're just going to simply click the equal sign, then click the score multiplied by 40%. Okay, then that's it. The 40% of 74 is 29.7. Then we are just going to copy the formulas in every students. Okay, so that will be all for today's session. As we gone through this session, we just learned how to use the insert formula functions, which can be found under the formula ribbon. We already knew how to compute for the long method and we also discussed how to compute with the parentheses wherein there are multiple formulas. Also, we learned how to compute for the percentage of the score and that's it for today. So, for your activity, just create the formulas intended for the performance task. The concept of this performance tasks are almost the same because as you can see, you are just going to get the total score, the 100% equivalent, but this time, instead of 40%, you are just going to compute for the 60%. And that's all for today.